Uh, okay, so I didn't want to get into formats too much, but I did want to show um, this thing with PostGIS um, because we've made so many different updates to PostGIS. I wanted to uh, to mention a few of them. Um, this one is doing 3D data, so I'm reading a 3D model from uh, MicroStation, and I'm writing it out to um, a PostGIS database. And to generate this, all I did was do generate workspace DGN to PostGIS no transformers or anything or particular advanced settings um, but I should be able to inspect that and read it back from PostGIS um, let's make sure the parameters are there tables okay so we've got floors, walls, ceilings there we go and there we go so we've got that back I can flip into 3D mode and you can see we've got that back from PostGIS so, yeah, 3D supported wow, 3D in post cool. Yeah, and read and write. So I, I just love that. And the thing I really loved was it just worked. I just created a workspace, ran it, and it worked first time. And I was sort of, well, like a little bit shocked. But um, you know how these things are. So. Um, oh, you have little faith. I know, especially where 3D data is concerned. 3D data, I always always have problems with so um, unlike raster though I bet you had confidence about the raster I was more confident about the raster yes um, if my data actually was there let's <laughs> where did your data I, go I, I've just been messing about with it um, for the training over the last couple of days so, I um, see in tiff so there we go we're gonna read the raster and we're gonna write the raster to the postgis now there is a setting in here that you need to be concerned about um, if we look on the format parameters, there's a maximum bytes per raster, ah. and so basically there's a maximum size that you can set for the size of the raster that you... Uh, Was that the default write. there? I can't remember. That might not that's be the default. That's, a, that's an odd number in any case. <laughs> yes, that might be the number I just needed to use, because if, if that number is too small, like say I just have that number and I run this and it won't fit, it'll come up and say, hey, that doesn't fit. Um, the raster size is this amount, so you need to basically copy that and put it into that uh, parameter, uh, like, like so, and then it should run OK um, with that. But that's in there to make sure you don't write rasters that are gigabytes and gigabytes in size to there, unless you really mean to, of course. Um, and hopefully we can read that back. Let's select that table, which, oh, that's interesting. I don't know why it's got that strange thing there, but hopefully we're reading that back. And we're reading it. The thing's still wearing away at the bottom, so I assume we are. There we go. So, yeah, so reading and writing raster to um, PostGIS and 3D, which I'm very impressed at.